Hello everybody, Dan here with TrendSpider, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you about a brand new indicator that we've just added to the system, the time-weighted average price, AKA TWAP. Now, when you hear TWAP, most people that I've mentioned it to immediately think of VWAP, which is volume-weighted average price. And that's natural because VWAP is a big part of TrendSpider and something that we use all the time. You can see I have two anchored VWAPs on my screen right now. But TWAP is different. TWAP is an indicator that is traditionally used by banks or large professional trading organizations in order to spread out large orders over time so they don't negatively impact the price of the asset they're buying or selling. And TWAP is very easy to use in TrendSpider. I'm going to show you how it works. Let's get into it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click and remove all the view apps from my screen because I don't need those right now. Now I'm going to click on the three dots next to indicators in my top toolbar to open the indicator manager. And I'm just gonna type TWAP into the search box to quickly find the indicator. Now you'll notice that there's a, a few different options here. You can change how the TWAP is calculated. By default, it uses the open high, low close average. So the average of all four prices that are part of the candle. Um, and then you can control the thickness of the lines and you can control the colors. I'm gonna change the colors so they're a little bit easier for me to see. Um, you know, you can make these any colors that you want. I'm gonna click apply. Now you're gonna see what it looks like when I've added TWAP to the chart. So first, obviously, uh, take a look at these two different lines that the indicator adds. There is a squiggly line that looks like a moving average. That is a moving time-weighted average price. And there is a yellow line that indicates the final time-weighted average price for the previous trading session. These are very useful because when you can visualize these, you can incorporate them into a different trading strategy as another form of confirmation or negation that you can use to make decisions in the market. So let's take a little bit of a closer look at these. Uh, so the first thing you're gonna notice is uh, this chart, which is Twilio here on the five minute time frame, is in an obvious downtrend. And you can see that the TWAP is being reset at the start of every trading period. Right, so every day at the beginning of the day on the very first candle, it calculates from a cumulative basis of zero. That is reset every day. Um, and you can see the yellow lines indicate where TWAP ended at the very last candle of the previous day. By looking at it very simply here, you can tell that we're in a downtrend, right? Because price is unable to trade above the yellow lines and it spends most of the time during each day below the white line. Um, if we move back a little bit in this chart and we can look at this little uh, pop here, right? You can see what an uptrend looks like, at least a short one, right? You have price trading above the TWAP, the white line, more than it does below. And you can see it trading above the yellow line, which again represents the previous day's final TWAP, right? So it makes it very easy for you to tell the difference between uh, uh, different trend directions. Let's look at it in a different chart and we can zoom out a little bit here and take a look. And we can see that, again, uh, when SPY is in uptrend, the TWAP tends to be below the price action, but when SPY is pulling back as it is right now, the TWAP tends to be above it. Now, keep in mind, this is uh, uh, just one way to use it, just to eyeball it like this. Because this indicator is now in TrendSpider, you can use it across the platform, right? So you can use it in scanning. You can use it in alerts. You can use it in the smart checklist. You can use it in the strategy tester. Um, you can also create alerts on it if you choose to by just right clicking on it and going to dynamic price alerts and creating an alert however you want it. And if you like, you can use this indicator on range wrap charts, which introduces a volume weighting factor onto the TWAP calculation. The levels will be slightly different when you build it with range wraps. Another thing that's really cool is if you are using range wraps, you can click on the three dots and you can change this from the open high low close average to the open and close average, which will give you a purely volume based TWAP, right? Because instead of using an open and close price, because we're on a range wrap chart, we are using uh, right and left VWAP and the average of them is the average for the entire period. So that's one new indicator that we've just added. It's uh, uh, new to us. It's something that is common in order execution algorithms, but not commonly found on a chart visualized like this. Um, we hope that you enjoy it. Please have fun with it, experiment with us, let us know what you think, and keep your eyes open because there's a lot more coming. We've got dozens of new indicators coming out over the next few months and a bunch of big new features. Thank you for watching, have a good day.